Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another reading. Um, while I was meditating on the energy, I was definitely picking up that somebody, um, you know, is wanting to have your shit, basically, instead of you. Um... It's been an energy of that lately, in my energy, rather, um, coming up in my readings with, you know, just a bunch of jealous ass bitches, jealous niggas here. Um, that's all I can say, that they're jealous. You got to be just jealous to sit in somebody's energy field, to project onto them, to give them the evil eye every time you turn around, this person is online. But online stalking you. It's like, damn, you ain't got shit else to do. They don't, though. They don't got a fucking thing to do. Because all that they know is you. All that this person knows is you. All they know is to be in your fucking business. If you ain't got nothing going on, this person ain't got shit going fucking on here. I keep hearing for what it's worth. Um, maybe this person is um, trying to see how much something is worth here. Maybe they're going to sell you out or sell you down the river or something with you selling you the amount. I'm hearing an amount. I am hearing big amount by two chains. I feel like you are you are ransom worthy rather. You're ransom worthy, meaning you're you're worth a lot. You got a big amount. You got a lot of money right here. Somebody might be facing some addictions here. Let's talk about this goddamn high profile Aquarius here. Could be the runner in this uh twin flame relationship. This person could definitely be the runner, or you could be. Um, it's about the runner though. Whatever this information that could be brought forward, um, this person got some kind of fucking addition here to alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, shopping here. Just spending money on something that don't serve them. I feel like um you got stuck. And then you were, you know, all of a sudden unstuck here. Maybe this person tried to like, I'm hearing in and out, dabble in and out, like quick movement in and out. My finger is stinging here. First burn. First degree, first degree burn. Maybe somebody got a first degree burn. My stomach itching. Somebody could be pregnant. Okay, you're, you're not desperate to have any kind of phone calls. You don't feel the need to speak to this person. I feel like you grew. I feel like you grew a whole lot. You grew. You outgrew this person. And you left their ass in their karmic fucking cycle. I don't think that this person is upset with you, but like, how the fuck could they be? How the hell could a person that only does this type of shit to you vibrate this goddamn low? How could they be feeling any kind of way about you? This person ain't never did shit because allusions to you. They never done anything other than that. I'm just saying, bro. This person right here got, this person is very entitled to some shit that's not there. Some shit they don't got anything to do with them. Or you are this person that's entitled to some shit that don't have anything to do with you. Somebody is coming in trying to cause some fucking disruption here all over the truth. You standing in your fucking power and you speaking the truth. 
or maybe the truth coming out about a situation and this person just can't fucking handle it. This person don't like the fact that the truth has come the fuck out. They don't like that this shit is known, broadcasted. The whole motherfucking world knows the truth. They mad. They don't like this shit. When the truth fucking come out, that shit spread like wildfire is what I heard. Mad at you because you did your shadow work. Mad at you because you don't have words for this person. They mad at you. Maybe you could be a speaker. Maybe you could, um, you know, be in the public eye like a speaker or something like that. Or you literally could be like an engineer, a musical engineer here. You could um, do videos, editing, anything like that, like to where... You, you need to use your hearing here to put some shit together. Definitely a producer, engineer, a videographer, something. You got perfect timing. Yeah, attracting fear, financial uh, and material prosperity in the reverse. Love begins. This person is just now about to start understanding what the fuck it's like to love themselves. I mean, but what the fuck is it that they need from you, though? It's like, you already done heal from this shit, bro. You have already balanced the skills in your karmic cycles here. This person's bored. I'm hearing two players. Somebody love Mortal Kombat. Scorpion, hearing freeze here. Moving on. Maybe you're moving on from a freeze that this person had on you. This person love Mortal Kombat. They love games. This person right here is the type of person that would enact a game, like a video game. They live life like it's a game here. This person is in love with video fucking games. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Somebody named Pat. Patrick. Somebody named Patrick. Star? Nah, but this nigga is under a rock. Needing to find some light. Somebody need light. They need you. You're a light worker. It's your job. Whether we like it or not, right? We got we when we get caught, we gotta go here. I feel like you're more powerful than you realize here. Somebody is more powerful than they realize. I'm getting Leo vibes here from um, Charmed. I'm getting Leo vibes. Um, you could be a Leo. I don't feel like there's anything really deceptive about you. But I feel like people try to, you know, associate trouble with your name because you speak your mind. You're a rebel in a sense here, but you're not just a rebellious motherfucker that just goes around breaking rules here to cause, you know, you to be judged here. I feel like people are um, at a point in their own lives where they just can't, you know, accept their self. They can't accept their own fate and they got to associate themselves with you and your life here. They got to kind of plot, you know, to fall into your life somehow. A lot of y'all with y'all exes, let me tell you something, bruh. Y'all exes know exactly what the fuck, look, they be fucking doing. They know. They know what the fuck they be doing. They know when they come in, they know they can have sex with you. Even if you're emotionally withdrawn from this person, they can come in. Maybe because y'all got kids together, but they come in with sex. The sex of it, you know, is why this person comes back. And when they come back, they use that to attack your heart chakra here to close it. They want to close it because guess what? If your heart chakra is closed, you can't what? Manifest. That's what this person's wanting. They don't want you to be able to manifest anything. But see, I feel like they're a bit too invested just in you solely, okay? And they're not even investing in you solely is what I'm saying. I feel like this person is a bit invested. They got a lot going on, a lot of eyes on you, worrying about you, what the fuck you doing at the goddamn house, who you got at the house. 
person sitting back watching you win. But the part of all of it that I'm not understanding is that this person, it's like they sit back, they watch you, they see that you're winning, they see that nothing that they can do will get to you. So they feel like they need to come in and, you know, play on your intelligence, play on your heart chakra because they don't have no fucking authority to play with your goddamn, um, your spiritual gifts here. They don't have the authority. Trust me, they tried. But this person was not successful. The difference between a person like this and a, a downright evil motherfucker is a downright evil motherfucker got a purpose. This person doesn't. A person that is vibrating at the lowest percentage possible with power, with some kind of power source, feels like a dead phone on 2%. Even a person vibrating this motherfucking low, doing it with purpose. This person right here that's in your life vibrating low, they don't even have a reason why. It's pure jealousy, pure hate, spite, revenge. Maybe um y'all might have dated the same person or some shit. Or maybe you're dating someone that this person used to date. But who gives a flying fuck? That shit was so long ago in the past. Like, if somebody can't put that shit behind them, then, bitch, you just gonna motherfucking see me move past you. If you can't put that shit behind you, you can sit with it and watch me go past you, too. Because time gonna pass this person. Life is passing this person. But they're stuck. Worried about you. They're stuck. Like, damn, how the hell can, what the hell can, when the hell can, but it ain't gonna ever be a can here. This person, they can't come together with you, period. They're stopped, they're blocked. This person cannot do shit. And see, they're gonna keep coming in unaware that they're blocked, bringing you devil energy. Okay, here, that's all they know. It's all the energy they vibrate with here. They're not aware, maybe, or maybe they are. Who knows? I'm hearing maybe by Rocco here. It's our chemistry. Maybe it's the way we fuck. It's the way you smell. I really like that fragrance. Maybe it's the way you make me feel. I feel like taking it. Maybe it's your personality. I'm digging your demeanor. Maybe it's your nationality. Baby, is you Latino? You a bad bitch. If I ever seen one. Maybe it's the way you stretch your service will make you a diva. Normally, I should sit in a room. Maybe I should keep. Maybe I should lose. Maybe I should leave her. Maybe I should take her with me, really, I don't know. Maybe it's my car, maybe because I'm flexing. Maybe it's my wrist piece, got your bitch getting naked. Maybe it's my bracelet, maybe it's my chain. Maybe it's my swagger, got your bitch off chain. Maybe because I'm on, maybe it's my duggy. Maybe it's my cologne, got your bitch won't fuck me. Maybe it's how I be thugging, she like the way I be kicking it. Maybe it's all this money, she love the way I be getting it. Maybe it's the way I do my thing. Got these niggas, hey. Maybe because I fuck they bitch. Maybe that's why they contemplating. I don't know why they end me. Maybe they just want my spy. They want a car like mine. Maybe they just want my watch. I just sit and watch. Maybe I should say something. But when I see them sucker nigga, they don't say nothing. I'm a OG. I wear my stripes like a rough. Maybe once I got right, them niggas fell low. Maybe I should grab the chopper, kill out of confusion. Granddad told me before he died, just kill him with your music. Maybe because I'm a real nigga that I'm so successful. Okay, so somebody is literally. Sorry, I had to say that whole song. Sorry. Somebody is fucked up. It's everything about you. It's not like maybe it's this, maybe it's this. no. It's everything. This person can't stop goddamn thinking about you. Stop thinking about the times that y'all shared. They're in silence, fucking suffering right here because they tried to sacrifice you and you stood your fucking ground. Stood your ground to this person. 
And they're not able to move. They can't do shit. I'm really picking up an energy of a hating ass masculine. Maybe it's my car. Maybe because I'm flexing. Maybe it's my wrist piece. Got your bitch getting naked. Maybe it's my bracelet. Maybe it's my chain. Maybe it's my swagger. Got your bitch off the chain. Maybe because I'm on. Maybe it's my duggy. Maybe it's my cologne. Got your bitch wanna fuck me. Maybe it's how I be thugging. She love the way I be kicking it. Maybe it's how all this money. She love the way I be getting it. I'm telling you. A hating ass motherfucking masculine that wants your spot. They in love with the way that people are rejoicing and celebrating you, bro. This person want to work together with you, but this person know you're not going to work with them here. They know you're not going to work with them. I'm just saying, this person probably has already asked you and you said fucking no. Or this person right here might not just ask period because you're going to say no. They just discontented fucking bored right here. Okay, completing the fucking defeating this shit, and you're standing your goddamn ground to this motherfucker, and they're pissed. You've already spoken this to this person. You've already said what the fuck needed to be said. So I don't know why the hell this person can't understand English here. I'm hearing manuscripts, manual. This person might hear in cursive or some shit. This person might have dyslexia. Okay, someone is dyslexic in the energy here. I know they don't got nothing to do with hearing, but I'm thinking of, like, hearing in cursive. You know how, um, might be like this person hears gibberish or some shit. Or maybe you hear gibberish when this person speaks. Or maybe they just don't understand fucking English. They may not have any good cognitive skills here, but somebody is definitely dyslexic here. Dyslexia is very significant to you or to this energy. It's hating ass damn masculine here. World card could be a Taurus here. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Cap. High Priestess energy, Pisces energy, Libra energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Honestly, everybody, this King of Cups is calling judgment. Okay, here. This King of Cups is calling judgment. It could be on you. You could be this King of fucking Cups here. Needing to call judgment in the energy. Because somebody needs to be judged, apparently, here. Because they are um now suspects. This is a suspect op here. That's what the fuck I heard. Okay, here. Hearing Donnie Brasco here. Tower. I'm hearing love by Keisha Cole. Somebody really screwed up. And they don't have any new beginnings here. Somebody did not take heed to the warning. Somebody did not take heed to the messages. I'm getting a really sharp pain in my chest. Somebody could have gotten some kind of, um, I'm hearing breast reduction. Either a breast reduction or... A breast enhancement replacement. You didn't get anything done new. You got something redone. Bigger or, you know, reduced here. I'm hearing Shara, Tashara, Pumpkin, Tracy. Tracy Ellis, Ellen, I'm 
errands. Somebody gonna be, or somebody was running errands or something and their chest started hurting here. And maybe that caused for you to start thinking maybe about seeing a doctor or consulting someone here. I feel like it was due to whatever the hell this surgery was. Maybe someone was, um, you know, in the energy trying to talk you out of this here. Virgo energy. Um, somebody definitely tried talking you out of this. I don't feel like saying you didn't listen. I don't know why the hell I'm not going to say that because I don't feel like you didn't listen. What was there to listen to? If you wanted to do something, you have the right. You have the right to take someone's opinion and throw it out in the fucking atmosphere here. You don't have to take nobody's opinion and, you know, apply it. But it's not sometimes I've seen that somebody's expressing their opinion to, to you. Or criticizing you. They want good for you. Most times. What else is here? This breast reduction. Or somebody is thinking about getting one. If you didn't get one, then good. Don't. Okay, you're not saying there's nothing bad about that. But you dodged the bullet with the four of cups in reverse here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag here. Stand your ground. Ace of Wands. Page of Wands. Look. I'm just saying. Whoever the hell you are. You know what I'm saying? You are not feeling this shit. Whatever move you made recently. You're not fucking with it. You don't like it. You don't like the results. Maybe you're holding back from coming out into the community or... Holding back from, you know, meeting up with your friends or your boyfriend or whatever here. Knight of Pentacles. Turning everything down. You turning down all offers here. You don't. bro. Eight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not going towards anybody. Nobody's coming towards you because you don't want to come outside or something. Somebody's having to get some type of um, surgery uh, redone right here. Having to go into... Uh, surgery again here for um, something and I feel like this is something that your masculine might have uh, talked you into doing or this is definitely a karmic energy okay here that's what this karmic fucking um, karma may be I'm hearing bot surgery here I heard pimp my karmic spirit what the fuck <laughs> spirit yeah I heard game of operation. Maybe you used to love that game operation here, okay? But I feel like this is your goddamn enemies here. Somebody is definitely in hermit. Needing to find another way to heal because I feel like it's just is what the fuck it is here. I feel like this person might have went to somebody who was not quite qualified any motherfucking way to do a such a surgery as this any fucking way. So, you know, I feel like what the fuck they saw was what the fuck they got. They didn't want to go the extra mile. Probably literally. Probably didn't want to get a passport and travel somewhere, you know, um, to somebody or, you know, go out of whatever. Or maybe they just didn't want to put the coin in here. But, uh, yeah, sis, I'm getting about $10,000 here that someone spent on the surgery. And I feel like, uh, yeah, that's a little bit cheap right here. I mean $10,000, meaning this bitch ate, this bitch got there, she drove around, this whole shop. All of that. And got her boobs done with 10 bands is what the fuck I said here. Right here. That's what's coming towards you. Somebody said it's hell because they were waiting, I guess, to woo your masculine. And that shit did not work out for them. I'm just saying. They thought they was going to block you off. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Weird. This masculine is not feeling this transformation. This person just did. Whatever the fuck. 
whatever the fuck. Somebody also may be having a surgery due to some health reasons here. Um, could be some kind of um health issues here as well. Yeah, definitely with the nine of ones in reverse, six of cups in the damn um five of swords in reverse. It's an underlying health issue that somebody got as well, and they uh went and got a breast reduction here. But with the star card, Aquarius energy, I feel like this is your karma. It's your karma. This is your fucking karma here. To go through whatever the fuck you may be going through on your chest. Since you always got so much stress and animosity on your chest. You will live with your botched breast. Is what the fuck spirits get. I heard ain't no fixing it. Because you owe the devil. Pay the piper. But see, you kept sacrificing everybody else's life, but you fucked around to sacrifice your own. Because now this person or you don't got this energy to sacrifice. Somebody got walked away from. This bitch ain't got the masculine to feed off of anymore. This bitch ain't got the masculine to fuck over no more. This bitch ain't got the masculine to try to sneak in Divine Femme's energy. Divine Femme is totally detached from masculine, so this karmic couldn't get through the energy anyway, but just saying here. What else is here, spirit? Yeah, sun card here. Illuminated to this bitch that, yeah, it's not working here. Nothing worked. The same thing that you wanted for Divine Femme or masculine, that shit has come back to you. Sinfold here. Somebody is probably about to buy some um, fold-out chairs. I'm getting real barbecue vibes right here. Picnic table vibes here. Yep. Some kind of celebration, I feel, is happening. Maybe a birthday. Knight of Cups here. Eight of Swords. Maybe in about eight days here. Okay? I feel like you're going to have a really good time connecting with your family. I really do. Whoever you could be. I feel really good vibes from this um, gathering with this family. And I feel like there's somebody at this event that you're going to speak to. Okay, this person is going to enlighten you about a lot of shit. Slick. Okay, here. Could be a family event, but this person here is with the fuck shit. But they're going to definitely give you, look, some kind of information without causing conflict here. They're going to give it to you. And you're not going to realize it until you're by yourself or until, you know, you can study this information here. I see the death card, six of wands in the reverse tower. Hangman here. This motherfucker right here is still refusing to see some shit from a clear perspective here. There's a death being put to something regarding this stupid motherfucker, man. This person is not victorious or you are not. I'm just saying. You're not. You're not victorious. So it's divine, femme, or masculine. There's an ending to this Scorpio energy here. It could be a Taurus for sure. In the energy. Could definitely be a Taurus. This Emperor. Could be an Aries here. This person right here is... They don't got no love with Ace of Cups though. They, they coming in with Emperor energy but don't got no fucking love. And this motherfucker Mary. What the fuck? I heard that shit gonna fall apart right here. Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords energy. Just big fucking truth. Facts light. All day. Nothing's happening with this. I'm just saying. Nothing is. This person think you're stuck in your mind that, you know, if they just rush in right here with a foolish ass goddamn offer that you're just gonna go and drop your panties on the fucking ground. Like, this person think as soon as you open up your door... I'm hearing, let's get it on. Turn on the fucking lights. Not turn them fucking off. Turn them on. Look at that nigga dick. Something ain't right right here. This person sit back and for sure stalks you. Look at you and see all the things that you're accomplishing in the shit that they have not. Comparing your life to theirs. And this is a whole fucking nigga. They comparing their fucking life to yours. Sitting back like this mad.
I'm hearing shoulder lean by young dro. Carbon 15 in the B. It's Grand Hustle Kings. Grand Hustle Team. The Kings is get rich. I lean to get lit. And I'm really serious. I take world the opposite. And let my nine screens flew. Dro be watching Oprah, man. Nine of being clear. Nigga, now it ain't too. A look at you on Dominic, nigga, now it ain't too. Oh, okay. And I let my shoulder lean. And I let my car talk. And I let my motor clean. Suicide, old brown rover look like poking me. Everybody know me in the club because they smoking me. Troll, whole scope me. Ice come from popery, son. Hard to carry, I'm full, full of you know. Red, black, and white shit. Now I'm riding in. You know. Put them lights up in my room. Now I'm riding in. You know. I call a little like Creon. Hold no on the man, though. My like shoulder lean. I don't know how to stand, though. So this could definitely be you needing to lean on some, somebody's shoulder or somebody might come in, you know, saying that, hey, you can lean on my shoulder or maybe somebody's going to come in needing a shoulder to fucking lean on here to try to throw you off course like always here. Somebody you told, no, you're not working with them anymore. You don't want shit to do with this motherfucker here and they're trying to creep back in but only using sympathy because they're in solitude here person ain't got no blessings or anything on the way they're trying to come in and fucking conflict you here because they ain't got shit on the way to them that just makes sense don't it why this person is creeping up just now trying to come in and manipulate a situation manipulate your mind here i heard they just ain't gonna do right okay that's why the fuck they got left i'm hearing happily ever after by case here somebody's about to catch a fucking case being sneaky as shit <laughs> unexpected income despair here somebody could be in despair about some unexpected income here i'm hearing somebody missed an opportunity somebody missed a chance somebody is trying to come back but see you don't know that this person has gotten caught up that's why it's so detrimental that you use your fucking discernment you don't know that this person has got caught the fuck up you don't even know that they got arrested and that they're going through this here. But this person is coming in to you because they feel like you're the only one that they can get them out of this shit right here, bro. They feel like if they connect back to you, if anything happens to them, you'll come in and you'll save the fucking day. But you don't know anything about this charge. This person is trying to have you walk into a blind goddamn attack. Trying to defend them. Trying to stand on the front line for this motherfucker knowing that they set up a whole goddamn sting for you to be caught. Maybe you're going to be at home when this person reaches out to you, this immature motherfucker here. You're going to be at home minding your own motherfucking business. And then this person going to come in with this dumbass goddamn idea to come and try to knock some shit off course for you, bro. And have you mentally fucking conflicted in your mind here. That's all their goal is. That's all they want to do. Because I can guarantee you with you not knowing anything about this shit, with them keeping you in the blind, when this shit transpires... You're going to be in the energy of doing what? Defending this person. Because they are of your home. This person is home to you. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your wife, your daughter, cousin, something. But they're fucking home. So guess what your first, your first defense is going to be to defend this person. They coming in to tell you a bit of the piece so that when the whole motherfucking puzzle it's presented to you and you got to put the pieces together yourself. Oh, I told you that. Now, nah, motherfucker, you told me a little small ass part. So when the truth do come out, I can reference that little ass truth you fucking told me, bro. This person playing on your motherfucking heart chakra, but I feel most of all your crown, bro. This person playing your intelligence like you fucking stupid, shawty. This person that caught a motherfucking case that's regarding some shit that got something to do with you. They didn't even tell you that they were arrested for this shit. They done went to jail and everything for this. And they finna come in. They gonna partner up with you so that when the time presents itself, you can come in looking like a fool defending this person here. Because they already know, hey, I got them if I can get them in my energy. 
That way they can manipulate shit. Do dark, dumbass magic and shit. Just to know what the fuck they doing. This person is coming in literally to work with you. To try to offset destiny here. That's it. This person has literally been to jail. I can promise you that. I can guarantee you. My cars don't lie. My spirit guys don't either. I can guarantee you. This person has been in a jail cell. I don't get. Excuse me. I don't give a fuck. I heard a hiccup. It's a hiccup. Something was a hiccup here. A glitch maybe in the system or something. Or hiccup. Maybe it's time to grow. Outgrow. Grow past. Go past this person. Outgrow their tech. This outgrow. Giving a fuck about this person. Fuck if you grew up with this person. You need to look out for yourself here. Because all they doing is looking out for your shit. Meaning looking out for pieces of mail to steal from you. So you don't know what the fuck going on in your energy. Looking out for documents to use against you in court. To start something for you so you can't defend yourself here. Towards whatever the fuck they trying to hide. Paint out a picture about you. You know, I heard... Paint a narrative here. Somebody's definitely an artist. Somebody might have stolen a design of yours or something here. You could have a clothing line. Uh, yeah, somebody stole your design or your idea. Or they're about to. Whatever this is that you've been working on, I feel like very diligently, it's going to come into play, bro. You're going to see exactly... What trusting yourself, what trusting God, you'll see what what results you get from that. Okay, here, I know it might seem like it's a lot to just fully trust God, but that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to just give Him a little bit. Okay, well I'll I'll pray, I'll do, I'll acknowledge Him, I'll do that. No, He wants you to fully trust Him. He will strip you of everything here. Probably has already done so. God will strip you down to nothing. Until you have no choice but to call onto him. Because he is the only source. He is the source. He is the judge. He is the jury. And since a child. Born. To die. You were born. When you died. Okay here. You died when you were born. You have been reincarnated a thousand times. You know the story. You know this shit. It's familiar. You went through this last time, remember? It's the same thing. Same games. Same tactics. And why you don't retaliate how you used to understand. It's all for a reason. Because you've done this before. You know it don't lead none to but karmic cycles here. You know that you're official. You know you don't have to show shit to nobody because you know anytime you show something, it damages you so bad that it literally takes from your value. I'm hearing diminish here. Gloss finish. Somebody could be getting their car work on like a paint job. I'm hearing Mako. Could be because of an accident. Could just be because you want a new color. Paint. I'm hearing orange crush here. Somebody was never going to change. They weren't going to change. I'm just saying. If they did not get caught in this energy. Oh this motherfucker wasn't going to change. If they didn't get caught. They got caught. That's the only reason why there's change here. And the only thing that's changed is the circumstance. It's not this motherfucking person here. Okay. Just saying. Circumstance change. Not them boo. They ain't never going to change. How sound to this motherfucker. They're never going to work on themselves. And they always going to be concerned about you here. And they're never going to figure you out for real. You're just going to be a very fortunate person. And they're never going to like you. I heard you're reaping karma from your ancestors here. You want to know why you... Whoever the fuck is the opposing energy. Do you want to know... Why is not you that was chosen? Because in the spiritual courts, in the laws of generations, 
It skipped for generation. It went to your child, not you. It went to your brother, not you. It went to your sister, not you. You when you, you have to be in position to get blessed. You were not born in position to have this blessing. You were not born. It was not ordained. It was not judge ruled here, set in stone for you to win this. And you got to also understand that there's a plan for when you were going to try to take it too. You know that, right? God knew you was going to come in trying to tamper with divine fam, masculine, they shit. You don't think God knew that? This shit funny, um. Fun to him to have a motherfucker think that they're going to play him when he knows the outcome. Shit ain't really fun to us for real if we think about it because we don't really be knowing no outcomes. We just only human. We be thinking that we know the outcome of shit and the whole time we be wrong as fuck, don't we? Wherever, however and whatever, that shit starts from home. And I feel like the shit that you knew to be home is just not going to be anymore here. I feel, I really feel like whoever the fuck this feminine energy is that you've been, you know, thinking about a lot lately here. This person that's been on your mind. Maybe you hold this person in high honor. Maybe you just don't want to feel like, you know, they do some shit like this. You know, temper with your household and you got kids. Temper with your relationships here with your freedom. But they did. And they didn't care. They had no regard is what the fuck Spirit said. They had no regard in quickly coming in on your path to, you know, try to make shit not come together for you or. This person talks a lot of shit right here, man. This person stands in front of a mirror and is comfortable with okay in the fuck shit that they say out their mouth about you, bro. This same person you used to share a household with, same person you went on trips with, all this shit right here, the same person you done caught charges with. The same motherfucking, uh, the same person you about to get a message about how they crossed you. I'm hearing shoelaces tight. You not tripping. No, you're not. If you felt something about this person or you felt something about this energy, you are definitely correct. Something very low vibrational here because there's too many people that are worried about your money, bruh. Why is it so many people that are concerned about you getting your hands on this money here? I feel like no matter what you do in your life, if it's one person in the motherfucking world that felt like you deserve something and they left it behind for you to have, why the hell would somebody go so hard to try to keep something away from you? You have children. You have a life. These people have never treated you like shit. You were never family to these people. You was never family to them. How does that feel to wake up and you don't got no family? Oh, I know how they feel to wake up and don't know for sure about shit in your whole goddamn life. You got people that's concerned about stopping you. And these are the same people that you would have done anything for. You would have jumped in front of a bullet to stop it from hitting them. And wouldn't have concerned yourself with the life you still needed to live. This shit you still needed to fucking do. But this person right here is willing to sacrifice you dead or motherfucking alive. This person so greedy. Even when you are far gone away. In the ground. This person will conjure your spirit. They'll bother you. In the other realm. 
they'll never let you go because you got a gift that nobody else got, that nobody else will have unless it's you that's reincarnating them. It's real hard being chosen and supposed to bring change and actually do because there's so many people that don't want change. It's a lot of people that don't want change. They don't. What do you do? Force it? Go off by yourself? Don't deal with anybody? I mean, like, but what do you do? How do you do your job? How are you to be a light worker? How are you to be an earth angel? How are you to help? These people that are supposed to be helped, that we're guided to fucking help if they don't want it. They got to frustrate the teacher. Right? At some point. When the students are not getting the lesson. And we got to turn in. Shit. For the semester. Although I love you, I can't lose my job. So I can't just give you an A here. I'm just saying. Do you continue teaching your lesson? Although nobody's fucking listening or learning, you fucking right. I'm going to keep teaching my lesson because guess what? I'm being fucking judged. I'm being graded. The fuck? A lot of times the shit that we end up doing... And the hardest shit that we end up having to do, it ends up helping us. It pushes us into our destiny. Because although all this shit is going on, ain't nobody seeming to get it. it might seem like you're doing all of this work for nothing and nobody's listening. God is the only one that you should be concerned about. Pleasing. Trust me, he knows the actions of others, but he knows yours. He's only concerned about your reaction. Because teachers are meant for their classrooms to be disrupted. Class clowns and shit like that. Because trust and believe me, Shanita Postel was definitely a class clown. I was in the principal's office here. I know. So when it's done to me, I understand karma. When people try to talk fuck shit. And throw thought, you know, on my beliefs and whatever. You could do that, but just understand there's a fight when you mention my daddy. When you mention my daddy, it's a fight, period. Okay, you're. For the most part, I feel like this person is losing because of themselves. That's all I can say. They were supposed to change, they didn't. You were supposed to change, you didn't. So I feel like you should just be able to, you know, deal with what the fuck comes behind the shit that you know that got a consequence. You know the shit you doing got a consequence. So if you can't deal with it, you don't need to do shit. Okay, you're... Because when karma come back, oh, baby, it's all of a sudden and it's a whole goddamn lot. It's a big amount. It's a real big amount. 11-11. All right, guys. Okay. Right.